I deeply believe that college professors who complain about the students they get freshman year are in part responsible for not going out, not reaching out and talking to teachers on every grade level and sharing what we know. When, when you hear a complaint, uh, oh, they're still learning old stuff. That Well, whose fault is that? So I, I guess I have a little bit of a crusader in me that I really think that. And originally, I really thought I was going to bring these great gifts to teachers. I think all, all of us had this fantasy that we were Lady and Lord Bo Bountiful, and we were going to say, oh, now let me. And it is true that we can share new historiography. We can share... Uh, ideas about working with primary sources that are, after all, our, our stock in trade. But as I said when I talked last year at the uh, TAG conference, the truth is I've learned more, I think, than they've learned from me. That is, much to my surprise, and it shouldn't have been, the learning went really in, in both directions. And so it's spurred me to want to do really many more of these because I view it as a learning experience for me every time I get together both with teams of teachers and pedagogy experts who I work with and with the teachers themselves. I guess I would say any, any situation in which mutual respect is demonstrated over and over and over again uh, by everybody involved, by, by the teachers who attend to one another, by the presenters who were supposed to be experts to the teachers, that, that what's made them successful, the ones that have been really successful, have been a kind of sense of cooperation and a sense of, of respect for one another. I have done programs where I come in ta-da, and here's the historian, and I give a talk, and then I leave. Maybe wonderful things happen a after I leave, but I feel sort of cheated because I haven't seen the process, and I haven't been part of this sort of collaborative process. So I really prefer the ones where I get I get to participate, not just as the person who knows a lot about the Constitutional Convention, but in the whole, everything that happens all day for several days. It's exciting to see the teachers talk to one another because often they come from different schools and it's for reasons I'm sure that have to do with budget and time. They almost never get to talk to each other. And, and I've sat through so many lunches where someone says, oh, did you have that problem teaching that too? I did, here's what I did. And wow, that's, that's a wonderful moment. So just bringing them all together. A lot happens then. And, and it's interesting because sometimes the teachers, when they do the evaluations, don't register that. They say, oh, I learned a lot from Carol. Oh, I learned a lot from Fritz. Oh, and I'm thinking, be sure to write down that you learned a lot from each other because that happens often. And it happens in the most informal moments. And I advise everyone who does the Teaching American History grant, do not sit separate. You know, sit at the table with the teachers, schmooze, you know, get in, because you'll learn a lot. And that's when they ask you the questions they've been dying to ask you. you I give a talk and then they say, any questions? You'll see a few hands go up, but boy, when you sit down for lunch, it, it comes pouring out. And those are really good, good moments.